hey guys welcome back to the channel uh, in previous video we have solved one problem related to the sectional view right in this video as well we will solve the sectional view of this problem so we will draw the sectional side view right if we cut this object through this plane which is indicated by this p and p right so if we cut this object through this plane then after removing the half part of the object what would be the resultant right that we have to draw so we have uh, already draw the normal side view here so let's draw the sectional side view so for sectional side view as well we have already found the maximum dimension of the side view first of all which two dimension are visible in side view so in a side view height and width height and width these two dimension are visible so this height is 97 and this width is 38 so if i make a rectangle of 97 by 38 then in that particular rectangle i can draw my sectional side view so let's start So this is my that uh, light uh, rectangle. So when we cut this object through half of this plane, this internal circular hole is visible. So uh, that cylindrical part, it has also an edge when we cut this object. Right. So this part of the object are is uh, uh, will not be in contact with the plane. Right. Similar way, this cylindrical hole as well this half part of this uh, internal hole will be will have no uh, contact with the cutting plane right so let's first draw first locate the center line from the side view then start drawing this internal hole so this internal hole we can visualize the edge after uh, after cutting with the section plane so that edge we will draw over here so right now this edge is hidden in a normal side view in a sectional side view when we cut this object through half this two edge will be visible so we have to draw that first Now these two edges are hidden in a normal uh, side view that two edges will be visible in a sectional side view right so let's first draw that edges so internal cylindrical hole has a diameter equal to 30 so from center line 15 millimeter on both the side or we can even take the projection of this hidden line for locating that edge This normal edge that we have to make a visible, right? That is also visible. Similar with this external edge is also visible, but that is visible up to this length only, right? So let's make that edge as well. Similar way this upper cylindrical object has also this internal hole will be visible right so external hole uh, external cylindrical edge is also visible so both this both this part will be visible so we have to draw similar way that we have drawn over here so let's mark that point here also internal hole is a diameter equal to 12 so from center line uh, 6 millimeter on both this side and the length of this object is 28. So first let's uh, 
Draw one vertical line at a 28 millimeter. Now see when we cut this object through this uh, center line, uh, this edge, this web have this uh, uh, this web have a continuous material over there. So ideally we will not represent, uh, we will not draw the section line in the part of a web, right? So to separate it out with our main object, we will draw this edge over here, this vertical edge. So that is at a distance of 8 millimeter from this. And also we have to join this point as well, right? So it will also visible as a straight line. Now let's identify the surfaces which are in contact with the section plane. So here there is a continuous material, right? So there will be a section line over here. In this rectangular part there will be a no section line. So here there will be a no section line. Here also section line. This is a web part. So ideally we will not draw the section line in a web. Again also there will be a no contact between the material uh, between this object and cutting plane so no section line and here there will be a section line so let's draw the section line section line we have to draw using roller scale at a distance of 2 to 3 millimeter not more than that and at an angle approximately equal to 45 So after drawing the section line, this will be our sectional view, sectional side view, isn't it? When we cut this object through this plane, plane PP, we can get this kind of object after, after cutting the object. So let's write this is a sectional view along the plane. along the plane pp and we have to also we have to also represent this uh, cutting plane in our orthographic view so we can easily represent that in our front view so let's represent that Right. If this object we cut with this plane PP like this, then we will get this kind of object. I hope you understand the concept. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content. And we'll see you in the next part. In, from next video onwards, we will move into the next topic. We'll see you in the next video.